Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am looking at Space Base DF9. Now, Space Base DF9, well, uh, it is... Well, that, oh, this looks like an interesting place to start. Uh, it is a Space Base Management Simulator, and what I'm doing right now is looking for a place to start this. There are four parameters. There's Stellar Density, Warp Gate Proximity, Threat Factor and Magnetic Interference, and all of these things affect the kind of landscape that you're going to be dealing with. I think I want the Threat Factor to be low, but I, I don't want the Stellar Density to be low as well. I think all of these things should more or less balance out, but honestly, I'm having a terrible time looking for a place where I want to actually spend some time. Um, no, really low. I want I want reasonable Magnetic Interference. Magnetic Interference gives you, like, you know, space hulks and things like that. Uh, where are we? Let's go... Not here, not here... Ah, stellar density really high. Very close to a warp gate. Um, extremely high and ridiculous. This sounds like a good one. Okay. The Viridian Nebula, 2035. Star system age, 14 eons. So there we go. St really high density, close to a warp gate. Threat factor low, and various other things. Okay, uh, and sounds like we'll have very little uh, hulks or whatever. Let us accept and deploy our seed to start recolonizing the Milky Way. Now, Space Base DF9 is developed by Double Fine Games. Uh, it was originally shown as a prototype in the start, the the humble Amnesia Fortnite, the, which was basically a bunch of games or oh, look bunch of asteroids already so these guys are my minions they are in spacesuits and their oxygen is running out so i have to develop a base for them to live in so the first thing i need to do is build a little airlock for them to use to enter and exit the base that's a good place to start and so i they will do nothing because they don't have jobs but if i go to the roster i can tell them all to build and it seems that I've been screwed already because I have um, terrible builders and terrible, uh, yeah, terrible builders all around. So anyway, yeah, I saw Sp Space Base DF9 and it was top down. It was it was fun, but I couldn't quite find enough gameplay in it to uh, make a video about it. But uh, they decided to extend it to a full game and now it's available for early access on Steam for $25 or $20 if you have bought previous Double Fine games. But uh, there's some question about which Double Fine games actually qualify. I'm going to turn this into an airlock, by the way, because we need to get them in and out. And I'm going to construct uh, object doors, airlock doors, airlock door, and that's a good place to start. Okay, confirm. Uh, and, and so there's people that are seeing the bonus and some people aren't seeing the sale price depending upon which games they've bought. And nobody's quite figured it out yet. But uh, regardless, go and take a look at that. And I need to build a spacesuit locker so that we can actually use it as a as a, an airlock. Now that will let them get in and out of the base. The next thing to do after this is to build an oxygen processing plant room thing. Confirm. Okay, that'll be the next thing they build once they've constructed this. So I can actually accelerate time. Now, I thought, as I said, I thought DF was for um, Double Fine, but uh, many people have actually pointed out that it's really more a tribute to Slaves of Armok, Gold of Blood, Chapter 2, Dwarf Fortress. Often yeah, known as Dwarf Fortress, basically. Nobody uses the full title ever at all. So you're pretty much managing a bunch of dwarves in space. What am I looking for? I'm looking to construct an uh, object. Oh wait, I need to cancel. I need to make this an oxygen life support. Okay, I've done that already. Construct object life support oxygen recycler. Confirm. So we'll be able to give them some air. To air is to human is human. So the next thing I need is we need to actually start acquiring some materials. So I'm going to build... Uh, no, no, we'll not do that. We'll build a... a, a oh, no, I can't do that. I, oh, I'm building a wall. Cancel. I want to build a room. Construct room. Oh, actually, yeah, let's just... Let's construct it out this side. So we'll build a room this way. 
That'll do. Confirm. This room is going to be the refinery where we refine things. Oh, Eva Yar's builder skill has increased, so I can actually go and find these people. Where are they? Look. You can actually click on them. And it'll tell you, when you're rested, you just feel like you got superpowers, know what I mean? So they have no friends, enemies, you can check all these things. Uh, no friends or enemies just yet. Clearly haven't spent enough time together. They're building stuff. But now that they've uh, now that they've got a, an oxygen processing plant, they should feel okay to get back inside. I'll zone this as a refinery. Confirm, and of course that means we need to construct a refinery, matter refinery. And we're going to put this right as close as I can here because. Hopefully we'll have room later on. Oh, no. Okay, so I've completely messed this up. Uh, we're going to have to expand this room at a later date. But that's fine. I shall do that. We've got ourselves a refinery and we've got to construct a door. And it'll probably actually need to be an airlock door. Uh, object, doors, airlock door. There. Confirm. So now we actually have the minimal amount of stuff to support a base with miners. I should actually... Uh, tell one of my dudes to start mining, and that's what's going to happen. And one of the dudes is going to become a technician to maintain my machinery. So Jeremy Storm is working out. Oh, enemies w basically hates both of the people already. That's great. So Dwarf Fortress, if you don't know, is a text display game that uh, it looks a bit like Rogue, it looks like a bit like NetHack, but it basically is a city building game where um, dwarfs try to build a whole thing and, you know, oh, i got to start telling them to mine stuff. Confirm! Start mining away at those rocks. I should probably tell them to mine that as well. I will have one miner at this time, but uh, I shall make sure they have plenty to do. So we have 374 matter. What I should also do is demolish this thing. Confirm. I think that's okay. No, maybe not. The seed pod I think you can demolish for extra materials. There you see, yeah, extra 749 materials. So, with that, the next thing you probably want to construct is a place for the people to live. And we'll fit that off the oxygen room. So start building a room here. That'll be a little area of dormitory. And... No, no, cancel. Start things running. Ah. Now, based on experience as well, I'm going to ask them to construct a fire extinguisher in the corner here. Because <laughs> every time I play this, my refinery catches fire. I'm also going to construct another suit locker. Object, airlock, space suit locker. There, I've got a couple of those. Confirm. You get plenty going on. What was that? Uh, we had all sorts of info here, but I'm missing it all. Uh, oh, that removes the walls. That's kind of useful. That lets me see where there are walls and where they're not. Ah! Obsolete shuttle model 1 ARV. Starship information unavailable. Greetings, we are from the 6th Galactro Vinicon sector in the Vorpulon Quadrant. We've just awoken from our cryogenesis after 10,000 years or so of cruising around on autopilot. We need a place to stay. Do you have room aport your base? Vorpulon Quadrant? They make the best nutrient paste out there. We'd love to have you aboard. Mmm, nutrient paste. Although we haven't had any in 10,000 years, we can bring our recipe code books on board for your replicators, though. Please do! You are our new favorite crewmates. Excellent. Okay, so these guys come along. Uh, okay, we just get one new person, but our oxygen capacity is a little low, so we need to build some more uh, object. We need to build some more life support. Oxygen recycling. On you go. Confirm. We're still constructing a living area at this time as well. Living area, uh, residence. Confirm. That's great. So we get a little base going on here. Now what should this new dude do? This new dude should definitely be a miner for now because we need, we're kind of running low on matter. And how's this doing? 88%. Well, Mr. Technician, 
What are you? You're a technician and you're standing around playing a handheld game. Come on, sir. This is, maybe walking around. Yeah, walk around instead of playing your silly game. New citizen Jill has joined the base. What do we have? We have Eva, Jill, and Zilix. Zilix says, I don't know, what is that? Looks like a parrot or something? And uh, no enemies. Mostly chatty, very good. All of these stats are, you know, important apparently. I'm sure if you played Dwarf Fortress, they all make sense to you, but uh, I've never been particularly good at Dwarf Fortress, which is one of the reasons I have never played the game uh, on my channel. And to be honest, I don't think I can make it funny. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, Dwarf Fortress, they say, the one is uh, failing is fun. What? Oh, wait a second, Kato. I want to keep this running. We've got to let some time go past. This guy's building stuff. Raw matter. Keeping this alive. Oh, he is Jeremy Storm is sleeping on the floor. But he's very happy, apparently. Okay, well... Hopefully he'll start being able to sleep in the sleeping area that I will set aside for them. That would be far more appropriate. Maybe he's feeling sleepy because there's still not enough oxygen in the system. That could be a problem if we let that uh, run out. I don't know, if is there a place? What is this? Oxygen? Oh, look. Oh, that just shows you where there's oxygen, I see. I guess having these guys outside is uh, not a problem because they're just... They were just working off of uh, spacesuit oxygen, which is probably more efficient than having all that oxygen floating around in space. I like the way the the air airlocks cycle. Oh, Jeremy Storm, he seems to have some sort of narcoleptic problem. Well, look, I'm sure you're starting to get the idea. Uh, you know, the beds will be built, people will hopefully sleep in them, we'll get a bar, we'll get a pie, and uh, more things will come along. Maybe we'll get attacked. Maybe there will be fights with the crew, or maybe people will accidentally leave all the doors open. That is the idea, apparently, behind DF9. We will see how well it works, but uh, right now, the game is available on Steam for $24.99 or $20, as I said. But uh, if this video doesn't do too terribly, then I might make some more episodes. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.